Soil, the essential foundation of life, has a long and fascinating formation process. It's not just about rock turning into dust, it involves a mix of physical, chemical, and biological processes that take place over thousands of years. Soil formation, or pedogenesis, is the complex interaction between climate, organisms, relief, parent material, and time. These factors work together to transform rocks and organic materials into the fertile soil that supports life. Climate, temperature, moisture, and wind determine the rate of rock weathering and organic matter decomposition. Organisms, plants, animals, and microorganisms contribute organic matter and nutrients to the soil. Relief, topography. The shape of the land affects drainage, erosion, and soil depth. Parent material, the original rock or organic material from which soil develops. Time. Soil formation is a slow process that takes centuries, if not millennia. Physical weathering is the first step in soil formation. It involves the mechanical breakdown of rocks into smaller particles through processes like freezing and thawing, abrasion from wind and water, and plant root expansion. Over time, these small particles form the foundation for soil. The type of rock that breaks down granite, limestone, basalt, plays a significant role in determining the soil's mineral content. Chemical weathering further breaks down rocks by altering their chemical composition. Water, acids, and oxygen all play a role. For example, carbonic acid from rainwater reacts with minerals in the rock, slowly dissolving them. Oxidation, where minerals like iron react with oxygen, also breaks down rocks and adds color to the soil like the red hue often seen in iron-rich soils. Biological weathering is driven by living organisms, plants, fungi, bacteria, and animals. Their activities contribute to both the physical and chemical processes of weathering. Plant roots break apart rocks, while microorganisms produce acids that dissolve minerals. As organic matter, like fallen leaves or dead animals, decomposes, it enriches the soil with nutrients and forms humus, which enhances soil structure and fertility. Organic matter is crucial to soil formation. As plant and animal materials decompose, they add carbon, nitrogen, and other essential elements to the soil. This organic material binds with the weathered rock particles to form the first layers of soil. Humus, the dark, nutrient-rich material that results from full decomposition, improves water retention, promotes root growth, and supports the soil's ability to sustain plant life. Over time, soil develops distinct layers or horizons. These layers form a soil profile, which varies depending on the climate, vegetation, and parent material. The top layer, known as the O horizon, is rich in organic material. Below that, is the A horizon, where humus mixes with mineral particles. As you go deeper, you find the B horizon, where minerals accumulate, and finally the C horizon, which consists of partially weathered parent material. Time is one of the most crucial factors in soil formation. Depending on environmental conditions, it can take hundreds or even thousands of years to form just a few centimeters of fertile soil. The older the soil, the more developed its profile becomes, allowing it to support more complex ecosystems. Soil formation is a slow but powerful process that has shaped the Earth's landscapes and supports all life. By understanding these processes, we can better appreciate the value of this finite resource and take steps to protect and preserve it. Learn more about how soil forms and its role in sustaining ecosystems by watching our detailed videos. Subscribe to our channel for more insights on soil health and sustainable practices.